ever been in a car full of Gen Z kids and approached a construction area? The tension that fills that car as soon as you see that first sign, you know what sign I'm talking about. Everyone wondering who's gonna say it. The tension is palpable, immaculate. <laughs> How we feeling out there tonight? <laughs> yeah, I am not feeling good. Wake up at 11.30, feeling like a bag of shit. Oh no! All my clothes are dirty, so I'm smelling like a bag of shit. Go to pour my coffee and I miss my cup. OMG, that is just my luck. Look in the mirror, say what's up, you useless fuck. I'm not really feeling like I want to get lit. Tell us how you feeling. I'm feeling like shit. Ladies, do you feel like shit? Tell me, do you feel like shit? Oh yeah. Fellas, are you feeling like shit? Tell me, are you feeling like shit? Oh yeah. It's just unacceptable. They, they look like trash. They're wearing garbage. They they wear this hideous makeup all over their face. They extend to the greatest limits of, of insanity and, and, and hideosity. And I just don't understand. Let's go. You know it, baby nigga. She wanna fuck with me, but I don't got the time. I just hopped off a private plane and went and hopped on Lady Five. Go cut my show for bitch, cause I don't like to drive. Yes, a bird back to back, and we gon' fill them up with vibes. Sometimes it's a heavy burden being a man of science. I know what you mean, Jimmy. That's why I decided early on to sabotage my highly scientific mind with cartoons and sugar. <laughs> with Suze, we're gonna learn how to find the perfect pair of pants without trying them on. I love thrifting um, a lot, but a lot of dressing rooms are closed right now because of COVID. Um, I heard this hack from a friend and it works perfectly, so here it is. Okay, so you're gonna take the pair of pants, you wanna see if they fit you, you're gonna take one edge, hold it up to where your belly button is, you're gonna wrap it, and if the other edge touches your spine, they will fit you. I have used this hack like eight times and it works perfectly, um, so happy thrifting and I hope all of your pants fit you. <laughs> Say home is where the heart is, you're the reason mine is beaten. I will always be here for you. And when I'm dying, I pray to a higher power. Next to you is where I'm lying. Would you fuck me right on the floor? Guys, I found Target's pride section. Look. It's a little spread out. But guys, here it is. Look, it's so nice. So many... <laughs> Yo, if people get mad about pronouns, wait until they find out about adverbs. If I don't wear fun eyeshadow and a dumb amount of rings, then how will everybody know how cool I am? How will they know? They won't, so I have to. So maybe I should just shut the fuck up. I'm bored. I don't want to do that. Daddy, I'm in love. That's fine. I'll settle for two birthdays. Don't tell me so in the summertime. So my dad, he's dead, had nipple rings. And I was like, hey, dad, I want to get my nip knops pierced. And he's like, okay, not till you're 18. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. And he's like, look, 
points to his nipple. I'm like, yes, father, we have those. He's like, look closer. So I do a little. And to my surprise, his nipple is forked. And I'm like, okay, forked. And I'm like, okay, father, what type of predicament did you put yourself into to obtain a forked nipple? He's like, listen, I was doing the sexy time with my girlfriend. And she got bored and was like, hmm, hmm let's see. Little rings attached to your nipples. Let's uh, take a little grabby, a pulley pulley. And then she <laughs> yanked that bitch out. And I'm like, okay. Hmm. I'm like, why is it forked? Hope everybody's having a great Pride Month. Shout out to the gays.